hey guys uh, we need to discuss few more prerequisite to derive uh, output of an LTA system uh, in the previous two videos I have given two prerequisites which we needed uh, for deriving uh, the equation okay okay in the previous video we said that any discrete time signals can be represented uh, in terms of combinations of uh, time shifted and amplitude scaled version of uh, unit impulse function, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we just extend that uh, concept further and uh, 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 suppose I have an x of n something like this so minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 say this is 1, this is 2 this is minus 2, again this is 1, this is 3, and this is 2. Fine. Uh, how do we represent this in terms of uh, time shifted, combination of time shifted and uh, amplitude scaled version of delta of n? So the signal starts from minus 2 and ends at plus 3. So this is delta of n shifted left. 2 times and its amplitude is 1, right? So delta of n shifted left 2 times plus 2, okay? And its amplitude is 1. 1. This signal is added with delta of n shifted left 1 time and its amplitude is scaled by a factor of 2. So delta of n plus 1 and amplitude is scaled by a factor of 2 plus. And delta of n, no shifting actually, delta of n and its amplitude is scaled by a factor of minus 2. And this is delta of n shifted right one time, right? So plus delta of n minus 1 and its amplitude is 1. Plus 3 times, 3 times delta of n minus 2 plus 2 times delta of n minus 3, right? So this is how we represent a discrete time signal in terms of unit impulse function. And what is this? What is this sample we call it as? How do we address this sample? This is nothing but what? x of minus 2 right and this sample is x of minus 1 and this sample is x of 0 this is x of 1 this is x of 2 and this is x of 3 so what we do instead of writing these samples this 1 2 minus 2 1 3 and 2 we just write its corresponding index okay this I can write it as x of minus 2 delta of n plus 2. Why? Because this is x of minus 2, right? And what is this? x of minus 1. What is this? x of 0. What is this? x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, right? So instead of writing these values of samples, I'll write those index. So plus x of minus 1, delta of n plus 1, minus x of 0, delta of n, plus x of 1, delta of n minus 1, plus x of 2, delta of n minus 2 plus x of 3 delta of n minus 3 right so we can actually represent this in a compact form okay which i can write it as x of n equal to summation k so it start from where minus 2 okay k varying from minus 2 the signal start from minus 2 right and ends at 3 so k varying from minus 2 to 3 so depending upon the range of the signal you have to put the summation limit if the x of n is varying from minus infinity to infinity then k varying from minus infinity to infinity okay now x shall i write it as x of k to address these values so x of z x of minus 2 minus 1 0 i can write it like this right so when i when i expand this summation when k is equal to minus 2 it is x of minus 2 when k is equal to minus 1 x of minus 1 k equal to 0 x of 0 plus x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3 right now how do i represent these delta functions so that uh, our summation equation will match with our sequence so i can write it as delta of i can write it as n minus k okay right if i expand it if i expand this summation i should get back this equation will i get back yes we will get back right so when k is equal to minus 2 x of minus 2 into delta of n minus of minus 2 which is n plus 2 which is this when k is equal to minus 1 x of minus 1 
into delta of n minus of minus 1 so n plus 1 this value in k equal to 0 x of 0 delta of n x of fine okay 